Shops have been looted in a sixth night of unrest. Across the streets, United anything States. but quiet tonight, with more peaceful protests. But is it really not enough when the rubber bullets fly? When the world is enraged from watching a black man die, gasping for breath, and the man says, I can't breathe, with his esophageal tube collapsed under a man's knee. Is it not enough to wake in the wake of hate perpetuated by a system dating back to Negro slaves? Beat that black man, make him pick cotton. Shoot that black man, he looks like he's up to something. Is the American fury not enough for you? Crowds plowed through by vans driven by the men wearing blue. Who do you call when the cops are the killers? When the body camera footage shows me you're killing brothers and sisters. Is the execution of a man, is that not enough for you? Judge, jury, and execution by a man dressed in blue. You look down at us for behaving like an angry mob. If all men are created equal, what gives you the right to play God? Where is the leadership? Where is the fight? Four days to be arrested for murdering a man in plain sight and a nine-day riot to arrest the other three, right? Did it maybe occur to you that our hearts are broken, that we're tired of being hurt in our culture not moving forward? Be it Selma, Malcolm X, the death of Dr. King, Freedom Riders' Bloody Sunday, I can hear the choir sing, Rosa Parks, the LA riots, the beating of Rodney King. Eric Gardner, Philando, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, can you feel the sting? You'll arrest hundreds of young minds and voices of the generation to come, but all you had to do was give us justice for one. Now you've created a resentment that will stretch a generation that will instill fear in the police administration in the eyes of the young people who know what is right. Trusting in the biblical law of thou shalt not kill. Right. Aren't you just tired of the pain? The anguish and the struggle. Aren't you tired of the fear, disdain, and anger for one another? Aren't you tired of the intimidation, the injury, and the judgment? Do I look infected to you because I'm not white? Do you see me as evil without blue eyes in my sight? Am I not human? Do I not walk upright? So why do you beat me? Why do you shame me? Why do you draw your weapons on sight? Police, get your hands in the air! Get the fuck down! Yes. Officer, yes. I said get the fuck down! I'm talking to you. The man representing the red, white, and blue. For the broken eye sockets and the rubber bullet concussion, tear gas and billy clubs inciting more violence. Yet another reason to protest. Yet another reason to scream. Trace it back to the slave days and everything in between. The looting and the destruction is a side effect of our scream. The world protested, marched and we cried, stop the racism, please make police brutality die. And this isn't just for black folks. This is for all of humanity so we can live in a country where we can feel protected and free. Is it not enough to see a black man shot in the back, running from a man in a badge with his Glock pistol cocked back? <laughs> Ticking time bomb has exploded and we can't afford to wait and see if justice will be served or if there'll be another black man hanging from a tree. Volcanoes must erupt to create new land, and sometimes violence is the answer to a heavy opposing hand, and the fire and brimstone evoke justice in a conversation, and so now I pray quietly for an answer to the situation. I have hope that humans will pass this social test. Because I'm not sure that the world can handle Another collapsed neck. Hey guys, if you enjoyed anything that I had to say, please subscribe to the channel. 
Check out the spoken word films that are socially conscious, that are raising awareness about what we're going through right now. Watch some of my leadership videos to help inspire and empower you. Stay strong. Keep your heart high. Thanks for stopping by.